All right, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about identifying your niche, okay? Or your niche, however you wanna say it. I say niche, so um, that's probably gonna annoy those of you who say niche throughout this video, but um, it is what it is. Um, so basically, you probably have heard the saying, the riches are in the niches when it comes to business. And the whole point of that is basically focus and specialization on a specific segment of the market and you're able to go through and grow your business. And that's 100% accurate, 100% true. So I'm gonna walk you through um, why that is so important in this training right here and share with you guys my story of how that actually like made a massive impact, allowing me to go from, in essence, zero to over $25,000 per month in just 90 days once I got very specific on who my niche is and who I was serving. Um, and then I'm gonna share with you guys a cool concept I call show and tell. And show and tell, is the number one best way to go through and scale your business, right? So let's get into this. So what is a niche? It is a specialized segment of the market for a particular kind of product or service, all right? So you might be like looking at that. That's more the dictionary definition. So you might be still thinking like, man, well, what the heck is a niche? Like what, why, like what are you even talking about here? Okay, well, just some examples here. Um, we've got, you can specialize in CrossFit gym owners with your business. So what does this even mean? How, how do we actually like relate this back to you? So most business owners, I would say all business owners, they need more leads and they need more sales, right? So that's pretty generic though. When I was starting out my business, I was like, man, I could work with anyone. I'm going to be able to scale this up so much. Um, and it's going to be awesome. I'm going to be like making millions of dollars. It's going to be so cool. But the truth is, if you're marketing to everyone, you're marketing to no one, all right? And if it's if you're just trying to market to everyone, you're gonna be in what's called a red ocean, which is just a bloodbath, and there's massive competition, whereas we want to go through and we wanna tread to the blue ocean, blue ocean strategy. That's, that's a, another book, Blue Ocean Strategy. And basically, it's really going through and making a unique, selling proposition, selling to a unique angle of the market, so you're not competing with just everyone and anyone that's out there, okay? So for example, like every business needs leads and sales, so are we gonna go through and focus with CrossFit gym owners, hairstylists, real estate agents, chiropractors, dentists, loan officers, network marketers, whatever it is, right? There's so many different industries out there, and what typically is the best to go through and choose is not necessarily how much money you can make because you can make a lot of money in all of them. I have friends that have done really well in all of them, but a lot of times it's what niche or what industry do you already have um, experience with, right? Like maybe you were a real estate agent. Maybe, you know, you probably weren't a dentist. You're probably still a dentist if you were a dentist, right? But maybe you were a real estate agent. Now you're looking to do some, some other type of gig online um, or maybe you just have a lot of contacts, Maybe your dad is a dentist and you know he's got a lot of dentist buddy you can go through and, and work with and kind of like work your way into that market, right? Um, so just think about like what are those industries you can go through and are, are gonna be lower hanging fruit. And if you don't have any industries that are low hanging fruit, then honestly, you can kind of just pick whichever one you vibe with the most and you're like, oh man, like real estate's cool, so I'm gonna work with real estate agents, okay? So how specific should you get, right? That's a big question because you might look at real estate and that, that's what I've done, right? And real estate is just a massive market, right? You have real estate teams, real estate brokers, the solo real estate agent, um, you have residential real estate, you have commercial real estate, you have real estate investors, you have investors that are for commercial, um, re uh, residential investors. So it's like, man, that that's still super broad. So you can't just go and say, I'm gonna work with real estate, you know, and I'm gonna go get leads and sales for, for my clients. You have to go through and really narrow it down. So where I found my bread and butter, I'm just telling you from personal experience, not that say that some of these other angles are not successful because they are, and I have friends that have actually gone through and grown their business in these different angles and have been extremely successful. But what really resonated with me was the solo individual residential real estate agent, okay? So they might be on a team or they might jo have joined a brokerage, but they're kind of on their own. Maybe they get a, a handful of leads from their broker, but they're just kind of you know on their own, right? And so that's kind of the market that I've been able to go through and leverage with our, our agency, with our software, everything to be able to help them go through and get leads.
Okay, now there might be some more lucrative markets where it's like real estate teams or real estate brokers where if you're connecting with the, the broker or the team leader and they've got like 50 agents underneath them, they're gonna have some deep pockets to go through and invest into marketing and lead generation, right? So the key here is you gotta go through and pick a specific angle. Like for example, the if you look at all the doctors in the world, the doctors that make the real money are always the specialists. Okay, generalists, they make okay money, but the specialists are the ones that are driving around the really nice cars, living in the big mansions. So if you want to go through and make some serious money with this, the more specific and more specialized you get, the more money that you're going to make. Okay, so for example, if you're going to go work with dentists, maybe you're just going to work with pediatric dentistry, okay, or just orthodontist or just um, endodontist or whatever it might be, because within like kind of, you know, the realm of the mouth, and medical, right? There's still a lot of different professions just like in real estate. Okay, so the, the more success you're gonna have is the more specific you get and the more niche down. And I like kind of more like call it a micro niche. So you have dentistry, which is kind of the niche, right? Or even above that is medical. And then within medical, you have dentists. And then within dentists, you have endodontist, orthodontist, pediatric dentistry. You've got a lot of different options there as well. Okay, so um, kind of getting back to my story of my niche discovery, like I was telling you guys, um, I just thought, you know, man, I, I know how to generate leads. I'm really good at it. So I can work with dentists, chiropractors, loan officers, network marketers, real estate agents, all these people. And the truth is when I was go, trying to go through and get my initial clients, it was crazy. I, I was talking with each and every one of them. And uh, I like what ended up happening is the chiropractor wanted to see results that I had from other chiropractors. The dentist wanted to see results I'd had from other dentists. The you know network marketer, real estate agent, all the same exact story. And so by going through and trying to hit all these different markets, it was just complete chaos. And every time I brought on a new client in a new industry, I had to tweak the ad copy, tweak the landing page. It was just getting so difficult that it was it's, it's tough to actually go and scale things up. Okay, and it wasn't until I actually went through and I had some success with the real estate agent. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go through and focus on real estate agents, right? And so I'm like, I'm just gonna say no to everyone else. And I was like, I am going to focus just on real estate. Okay, that's what this slide's here. It's a little, little lens focusing on um, just one specific thing, okay? So I went, I was like, I'm just gonna say no um, to everyone else. And I actually, pretty soon after this, uh, that I said, I'm going to focus on real estate agents. I had an insurance agency group that had over 500 insurance agents, which who knows, maybe I should have taken that. But at the time they're like, Hey, we want you to run our marketing lead generation. And I told them no. Uh, right. Which it was very hard because I was like, man, this could be very lucrative. I could make a ton of money. Um, but I had already made that decision, that commitment to myself that I was going to specialize and become the best real estate lead generation and marketer. Okay, and that's obviously how I've been, I've stuck with that and that's been my branding, that's been my whole everything. And once I made that decision, my little struggling marketing agency went from a you know roller coaster up and down, maybe hit three grand one month, $1,000 another month, $1,500 another month, um, to literally, I don't know why my, my thing is double skipping here, but you can see right here, not even $1,500 a month in June of 2016, to literally, what is this, October of 2016, so just a few months later, over $25,000 per month. And that's because before this, prior to June 2016, I was working with anyone and everyone, I was just desperate to get clients, right? Which I didn't realize that my desperation was actually keeping me from seeing success and the results that I wanted, right? And it wasn't until I actually was like, you know what, I'm just gonna specialize and focus that I actually took my business from, you know, just a roller coaster up and down, didn't know how well I was gonna do, to over $25,000 per month. And I don't have a slide showing you my numbers after this, but I maintained that 25 grand a month, and then was able to quickly, after about three to four months, scale up to 50 grand, and then just scale beyond that by just specializing and niching down, all right? So then what we do is once we specialize and niche down, okay, what we do is then we're able to leverage what I call show and tell, right? 
So basically when I first had my um, first real estate client, I got some good results and that's why I actually ended up choosing the real estate market to go and, and, and tackle. Um, and then from there, the next real estate agent, I was able to show them the results I'd got and tell them about my success story. So a lot of them, a lot of agency or a lot of people, like a lot of, sorry, a lot of real estate agents or dentists or chiropractors, if you have conversations with them and you say, hey, I can help you with Legion and marketing. Okay, well, they're like, okay, well, you know, how are you gonna help me with that? And then I was able to, at that point, now, finally, instead of saying like, oh, well, I'm gonna do this, this, and that, it was just abstract and they didn't really know what was going on. I was now able to show them, well, here's an ad and here's a landing page and we basically run ads to this landing page and it converts like crazy. And they're like, okay, because honestly, at the end of the day, these dentists, chiropractors, real estate agents, they don't want to get into the weeds of how you're actually going to do it. All they want is leads and a basic overview of how you're going to do it. So I would show them this. I would say, yeah, I, so I'm going to run this ad to this landing page and you're going to get tons of leads. And if they looked at me kind of like hesitant, like, ah, I don't know, is that really going to work? Be like, oh yeah. So um, actually check this out. Um, look at Nicole right here, her story. Look at Terrell, look at Kayla, look at Karen, look at Darren, look at Clint, look at Janelle. Look at all these stats and they're like, oh wow, like, okay, you've worked with a lot of real estate agents, right? And obviously at the very beginning, you're not gonna have like all of these success stories. So that first person, um, we'll talk about some tactics and strategies to get that first person on board to allow you to go through and run the lead campaigns and, and acquire that first client. But then after you get that first client and you get them success and results, you leverage those success and results to get your second client. And then once you get them results, now to get your third clients, you leverage the previous two and then you just, it keeps snowballing. I'm at a point where I literally have hundreds and hundreds of success stories that I'm able to plaster all over from Facebook, from emails, from YouTube comments, wherever. And so now for me to go through and get another real estate client, it becomes so much easier because I'm like, hey, this is how I'm gonna go through and get you leads. And they're like, okay, well, have you, you know, are there any other real estate agents you've worked with? Yeah, check out Darren's story, check out Terrell's story, check out Clint's story, check out Janelle's story. And they're like, whoa, 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 okay, <laughs> I, I got it. You know exactly what you're talking about, right? Um, so anyway, with all that said, what we're gonna do is I want you to go through and do a little, um, a little self-exploratory and define your niche, okay? I want you to actually write that down and give it some real thought, right? Maybe you have some background experience already with a specific industry. Maybe you have um, some good connections, whether maybe it's not your dad, but maybe it's your neighbor or someone, someone, uh, one of your friends who you grew up with, their dad's a chiropractor or something like that. Something, first explore low hanging fruit. And if you don't have that low hanging fruit, you're like, Jason, that's just not me. I just didn't grow up in that community, that area or whatever. Um, that's totally fine. Just figure out, okay, what industry do you feel like you could be passionate about and it would be fun working with them to help them grow their business, right? And um, that's kind of honestly how I got into real estate. My dad wasn't a real estate agent or anything like that. I just um, I just randomly found a real estate agent on uh, Facebook. He wanted help with his marketing lead generation, got him good results and just kind of snowballed from there. Okay, and then also we're gonna define how you will help the clients in that niche. Okay, which primarily with this program, we're gonna be focusing around the, your, their lead generation, their marketing, their follow-up, kind of all those different core components. Okay, and that's where we're gonna leverage um, this digital product sales funnel. And inside of that, you'll be able to go and tweak it and say, you know, are you looking for unlimited real estate leads, chiropractic leads, dental leads, whatever industry you're looking to tackle. Okay, now once you kind of have that um, that niche, that industry that you want to tackle defined, in the next video, we're going to go through and analyze several questions diving deeper into getting a little bit better understanding of your market. And those, uh, those questions will be able to help you kind of craft your offer and know exactly who you're talking to when you're making posts on social media or when you're going through and finding other people, finding potential clients that you can either bring into your digital sales funnel or even potentially bring on as full paying monthly retainer clients, right? So anyway, guys, once again, if you do have any questions with this, make sure you just jump in the Facebook group, ask a question, jump on one of the weekly lives, and um, we will help get those questions answered for you. So um, anyway, guys, I'm, I'm super excited to go through and hear about your industry. And with that said, I will see you in the next video.